Good morning everyone and especially to our teacher in System Administration and Maintenance Laboratory and Lecture or also called some love and lec, Sir Carlos Flores. Sir, good morning. Before we start to demonstrate to all of you on how to configure Windows Server 2008 R2, I would like to introduce myself and my group member first. So, I'm Carlos Gomez. You can call me Lo, Carl, or anything you want. And my group member's names are Sibal Mark Webster, Luminisak Mark Angel, Pastor Don Leonard, and last but not the least, Kenneth Manalo. And we are the group 6. So our topic for today is all about configuring Windows Server. Our purpose here is to gain knowledge to everyone on how to configure Windows Server 2008 Part 2. And you are guys are ready? Of course you are ready. Show start. So we'll open natin yung Oracle VM virtual box. And then click natin yung mismo start yung sa taas. Together with the Windows Server 2008. So we lang natin tong ano na to, ang um, pagloading ng virtual box together do sa pagloading din ng PC natin. Para ma-configure natin, para ma-configure natin yung Windows Server na hinihintay natin na paturuan kayo kung paano talaga mag-configure sa ating ano. So, click, click or start Windows normally. So, after nun, um, press Control Alt Build tayo to login or kaya pwede natin pindutin dun sa mismo ano, um, keyboard and then mag enter tayo ng mismo pagsarili ng password natin kung anong ginamit natin ng password ganoon din yung gagamitin natin hanggang dulo para hindi nakakalito, hindi nakaka irritating or hassle sa atin sa pag sa pagpo-configure click natin yung ser service manager So, kapag hinihintay natin yung pag-anot ng service manager, tuturan naman natin na, tuturan ko naman kayo kung paano mag-add rules dito. So, kailangan natin mag-add rules. Okay, so, add rules. And then, uh, click lang natin yung next. Yan, wala tayo pindu din, click lang natin next. And then, pindu din natin yung mismo i-add natin yung feature na yun, yung Active Directory Domain Services para i-add natin yung feature na yun sa ating PC. So, so yun, click lang natin next ulit. Next ulit. And then, install din natin yung .NET Framework 3.5.1 features. So, kailangan yun, required yun sa ating Active Directory Domain Services. So, medyo matagal lang to. Uh, let's just wait for it para makita natin yung mismo output nito. So, matagal lang talaga yung install tong ano na to, that net framework 3.5.1 features at active directory service. So, nag makikita natin, installation sa CD yung dalawa. Yung that net framework 3.5.1 features pati active directory domain services. So, so kung ganun, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano mag-remove ng features. So, hindi lang naman tayo basta-basta na lang nag add ng mga features. Dapat alam din natin kung paano mag-remove. So, click next. Remove. Click remove. Then, click next. Then, uncheck. Then, click natin yung remove sa ating active directory domain services. So, initay lang natin ma-remove. So, after nun, um, kailangan daw i-restart yung mismo ating PC. So, restart mo natin. So, ito, um, restart na naman natin siya. Go-open na naman natin ulit yung ating PC. 
And then, kung ano yung nilagin natin sa administrator ng password na yun, dapat ganun din yung password kayo sa pag-open natin ng directories. So, press Ctrl Alt Delete ulit to log on. And then, ano ba yung password na nilagay natin dito? Is 1, 2, 3. Tsaka choice mo yan. Kung ano yung gusto mong password na madali lang, yun yung ilalagay mo. For example, yung birthday, ganun. So, nagkikita natin na collecting removal results na, yun. Lumabas yung removal succeeded. Ibig sabihin, it means, na-remove na natin yung Active Directory Domain Services. So, next naman, pabangin na natin yung Active Remove Ang na yan, kung pagkikita natin, eto na yun, na-remove na natin. And then, click lang natin yung Start. Then, open natin yung computer. Click, right-click. Then, yung Properties. Then, click din natin yung Change Setting. So, change. Yung admin, yung computer na name ng admin, palitan natin ng server, COS, o tinatawag na server, college of science. So, click natin yung OK. So, kapag kinilig yung OK, you must restart your computer to apply this. So, kailangan na restart ulit. Close natin. So, restart now. So, habang nag-shut it down and then mag-open ulit, So, ano naman ulit natin ang in-open yung mismong password ulit dun sa mismong administrator, ganun din natin gagawin yung password dun sa mismong pag-login natin sa administrator. So, risk of control at delete to logon ulit. So, after nun, um, administrator na. 1, 2, 3. And then, so wait lang natin. Medyo matagal lang to sa pag-loading. Ito yung isa sa mga hassle or matagal lang. Tara tayo si start and then tignan natin sa computer. Right click, properties. Tignan natin kung may iba or na-change yung mismo ating computer name. Ayun. So, nabukas is server COS or tinatawag na server college of science. So, the next reporter is Mr. Domini San. Who continue our demonstration about the computer Server 2008 R2. Thank you, Mr. Carl Gomez, for that demonstration. Now I'll be demonstrating the admin system or admin server. So you have to remember that you have the admin role sequentially, meaning you have to add the main order, ADDS first and then DNS. This is important to avoid errors in the long run. To add the DNS server, you have to open the server manager. Since you don't have one, you'll be choosing the second option to pay them. 
use the link addresses. Choose the option to use the following IP addresses. We'll be using 
possible we will be continuing the demonstration of the dynamic hosting and configuration protocol for the DHCP. Thank you, Mr. Dominisa. And now let's proceed in adding the DHCP file services print and document services pwede na natin sila i-add uh, sabay sabay click lang natin itong next 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 dito yung DNS natin na nilagay din kanina sa my control panel IPv4 dito naman ano yung server IP natin which is 192.168.105.60 then validate natin valid valid naman sya next next dito naman yung IP pool natin click lang natin yung add yung sahop ng IP IP natin scope name yung inassign na lang sa amin na domain name ang aming gagamitin which is cos starting IP which is na asa yung sa amin is Disable lang natin tong DHCP basics. Next. Then next. Dito na tayo sa print and document services. Click lang natin yung next. Next. Since wala naman tayong babagawin sa kanila sa configuration. Dito ang file services. Ayan, tapos na. Installation succeeded. Ayan, magkikita na natin itong close. Ayan, magkikita na natin na na-add na natin yung 5 roles. DHCP server, DNS server, ADDS, file services, print and document services. So now let's proceed to Mr. Pastor. Thank you, Mark Steven, for that. And now we will proceed to adding user and folder redirection. First, open the server manager and then span, span the roles. Then the Active Directory Domain Service. Then the Active Directory User. Then expand the QS.dot.dot. Then select the user. Then right click New. Then User. Enter the first name and last name. Then the preferred user logon. Click Next. Then Enter the password, then uncheck the user must change password at next log logon, then check the following, then next, then finish. Just repeat the step to an add another user to the server.
after adding user, let, let us now start the client windows. Let's go to the settings, then select network, then change to internet network, then change the name to local, then OK, then click start. Then let's wait to the windows to load it. Once the client already already loaded, let's check first the network. To do that, just right click internet icon located in central and open network and internet settings. Then click change doctor set doctor's option and and now you can see the domain name on the client. Now let's check if the server was using IP to client, just search CMD and then type IP config then enter. And now we can see the domain name in the client and the server give the visible IP address to the client. And now let's go back to Windows Server. Now open the server manager then go to the cs.local then select default domain default domain policy then ok and then click add then type the user then check name then select the select your user then ok and then click ok again Then in the client, open file, file of color, then right click on this PC, then select properties, then change settings, then go to the remote menu, then check the allow remote, then allow remote. Then apply. And now go to computer name. Then click change. Then click domain. And then enter your domain name, which is us.local. And then change the computer name into client cos. Then press OK. And then enter your server account. Click OK. And then Click OK again. Then restart your computer. When the client is restarting, go to the Windows Server and Go to Windows Explorer, then click on Computer, open the local disk, and then create new folder, and name it COS, then right click, select your link, then specific default, and then 
drop down menu, select everyone, everyone, and then click cut. Then in the everyone, change the region to read and write, and then click share. Now the folder was shared and it show the folder path and then click that. And now right click on the computer, select properties and then Setting. Go to the remote menu. Then check the allow connection from running any version. Then click apply and complete. Okay. The client already started. then select the select other user then sign in the config created in the user and go back to windows server then open file explorer and then type click CO, the folder cos then the properties Let's copy the network path. Now open the server manager, then click group tab, then select properties, and then go to profile menu. And then paste the network path into profile path. And then select the connect. Then paste the network path and type backslash and then user user name and then click apply and then OK. And then in the server ma manager, right click the default domain policy and then select the deep. Then expand the user configuration, then policies, then window settings, then the folder redirection. Right click desktop and then properties. And then select the base to direct. And then paste the network path into in the root path. And then click. Apply and then yes, then OK. After that, let's open the local disk. And then open the COS folder. And now you can see the folder was automatically created. Now let's go to client DC and then open CMD and then, and then let's just type dpd slash first and then type Y and then enter and then your client will sign out. Now we we'll go to Windows Server and then log up our account. And then sign in. Yeah,
and the Windows Explorer. Then go to local PC. Then open the group tab folder. Now we can see the desktop folder. Go to the client and then create a folder in the desktop. Open the folder and right click, then let's create new document, then name it group tab. Now go to Windows Server and then open desktop, then click continue, select the security tab, then continue. Click the COS Administrator, then Apply, then OK, OK, then OK, then Close, Open again, and then Continue, and then Open the new folder, then Continue, Select the security tab, and then Continue, then click the COS Administrator, and then Apply, then OK and then OK and then open again the new folder and then continue now we can see the created text document and now let's proceed to remote access first in the taskbar search remote desktop connection then open the remote desktop connection Now you are connected to your client, you just click yes. And then to the in the client, click OK. Then go back to the server, Windows server. Let's wait for the desktop to be loaded. And now you 
will try to create a tax document in the desktop. Let's name it the uh, remove desktop. Let's see if we will see it in the client side. Disconnect the remote desktop connection. And then log in. And now we can see the chat document that we created. Thank you guys for listening in our presentation again. Good day to everyone and thank you. Have a nice day.